Iki visi čia Vidiamen Karlo ir šiandien žaidžiu Fahrenheit Indigo Purple C Remastered Taigi pradėkim New Movie Tad jis ten New Game, bet New Movie Tarsą nereik, tai New Game Yes Vant tik Dreams, tai yra sukūrėjant kompa, tik tad du žaidimus jis iki ten PlayStation'o, kurie yra gan geri. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. The Burbus Labai Kestaj Hedema Pradja. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard Destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. What have I done? Tai yra emocijų sistema labai svarbi. Poliu priklausys, jau buvo depresuoti ar normalus. I didn't want... 
It was like a dream. Quick. I, I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. He's just taking a poo poo. Okay, next, švalysim grindus, ką nieks tikėja, to nepastebėtų. Yes, that was wanted. It was long time ago, like, played it. Kontrolės tikrai gan įprastas, o jau, anxious. Ok, dar paslėpsim peiliuką. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. Well, dude, you don't have much time. Okay. I'm just gonna go look through the list of guys. You know, no flowers. Out of order. Okay. Taigi, paslėpėm lavonų, nuvalėm grindus, paslėpėm ginko. Pradėtum atsiektumį. Ok, let's get the fuck out of here. Like, let's be normal. Ok, yra. Aišku, nesukelkime tarimą, apmokėkim savo sąskaitą. Aš žaidę šitą žymą žinau, ką reikia daryti. Na, norint tarimų sukelti. There's money man, and we can get a fuck out of here. Ne, nebėkime, eina normaliai. We have time. We did nothing wrong, we just take a shit. Ar, eina, dabar galim dėti pas. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Oh, god. Police man have to take a poo poo. Na, this way. Aš ieškau takso. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Doc's diner. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Okay. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders, but you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else, but I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant, as if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Okay. Can we investigate the blood? Don't know anything too. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. And 
Who victim. is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Mm, Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Mm. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Okay, we'll Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. Mm, Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. And he is normal. Uh, what was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No, I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Cheer up. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him, and then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. He paid for What happened next? Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You yeah, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. 
I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Good night. Yeah. Let's go to business. Take it, take him, shut up. Check him, Kagan, or Rust. Huh? Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Okay, let's see. Coffee. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. A book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. Okay, let's move to toilet. Controllers are lovely cases. Okay, there you can make Tyler. Alright, first of all, Tyler won't do this. <laughs> Tyler? What? This is a restroom, isn't it? No, this is a crime scene. It's cool, I'm done. Must be all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. Oh, okay, but I can pass a Tyler to rest soon. Try. Oh, cool, my crowd. No, it's not any bad room, I'll pass on it. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Okay, basically got the crumbs. Alright, let's see. Shlot on the rich and the grass if I did something carlin. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Mm-hmm. Go a look. Mm-hmm. And I can't get him in this one. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives in toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Great. Hey, let's, let's Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Okay, now Carla, I will take her machibeta. Shlot. Blood on the mop? Yeah. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Okay. Several wounds on the left side of the chest. In the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Okay, let's go. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. <laughs> uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. You don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. Man, she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. Hey, Garrett. Carla wants you to verify two or three things. 
Don't worry, I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was gonna keep us up a little longer. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Blood. Killer is wounded. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything, or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Uh, I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. My name is Carla Valenti. And you? What's your name? My name? <laughs> what the hell is my name? Nobody uses it anymore. Yes, I just forgot it. <laughs> yeah, oh, Bogart, yes. Uh, my friends call me Bogart. <laughs> Must be because I look so much like that actor fella. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, I saw someone! Yeah, or rather, something. Nobody remembers him, but I saw him! I saw him come out the back door! Oh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Uh, who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Okay, boosting this guy's steer and chances. You got a chance? Kreskim Tyler. Galim kelia. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, nah. we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. A nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone.
wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh, my head. I think somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway. This will hide the blood in case anyone comes in the room. I'll change the sh that should help my migraine. Notice reads don't take with alcohol. Okay, we feel pretty good right now. Hello? Luca, it's good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to Mom and Dad's tomb together. And, to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Get us to sit by yourself. Господи, ну я там вас только без.
New York police, please open the door. Police, they know. They, they've come to arrest me. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Eh, that's me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. What happened to your wrist, sir? I told you I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. Gali pasimti su kur Turi įveikį žaisti pirmiau Tai reiti ar tas ne Na, tai turi įta, kad turi pirmiau Čia sad visą saikį vykdyti Bet manau šiam video pakaks Taigi čia buvo video Man Karlo Ir stiksim kitam video Bye, peace out